our mushroom project. We have all the infrastructure in place, but we don't have the mushroom spore or slime to be able to actually feed it. Uh, so we're going to start off, let's mark this as being uh, storing fertilizer. Start in there. We're going to move in this direction. Now, did we ever finish the research? No, we didn't. So let's, let's wait till that gets completed. So I just discovered how scientist is in a situation where I want to be doing advanced research uh, and they're not at the supercomputers because they were at the uh, re general research station and as it transitioned to the next research they didn't have a reason to leave so that's just something I guess you have to watch. So while they do that research. I'm a little bit concerned about our food storage because most of the time we have carbon dioxide but because we've got polluted water underneath it it's uh, generating a little bit of polluted oxygen for a certain amount of time before it gets up here. I'm going to build a compost in the area, well, if it'll let me. And I just want to get rid of this uh, rotten material here. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm just creating a tile underneath so that uh, this won't have a fluted wa water underneath it. Okay, so now that I've got the uh, research for the deodorizer, I'm going to uh, put that into uh, the base where I want to start digging out slime. And this machine won't be operational until it both has power and is filled with filtration. So I'm not going to want to dig out slime until that happens. All right, so I have these operational. I can now start clearing out some slime. All right, so first slime has touched the ground. I'm gonna go over here and mark this storage bin under organic slime. I'm gonna actually increase the priority to six with the idea that the moment slime touches the ground somewhere, someone should be quickly picking it up and bringing it over here so it's not exposing it, uh, you know, the environment to the slime lung and turning into polluted oxygen. All right, so this is good. We have our first pieces of slime in storage. We want to find a mushroom stores. Now they will be in this uh, zone here with the slime with uh, under the the uh, buried objects. So I've got a bunch over here, several over here. Let, let's uh, let's head in this direction. So the further away I go from my base, the less I'm concerned about slime lung. As long as I've got a mechanism to be able to turn it into oxygen eventually, I'm not too concerned. But the closer I get to my uh, core base, I'm a little bit more paranoid. So that's why I've got these a little bit closer. And then as I go in this direction, I'm kind of risking it a little bit more. Alright, so while they go in that direction to bury or uncover some of these buried objects, I'm going to simultaneously go in this direction and use a slightly different technique to deal with a slime. So what I'm doing in this direction, I know I'm going to get some polluted oxygen. So I'm going to put in one or two of these guys here. But I'm going to start digging out slime, but I'm not so concerned about it hitting the ground and turning uh, getting into the air because there's polluted, walk, uh, polluted water so I can pretty much just dig that out you know, duplicates aren't going to be like don't uh, won't like being in the 
a zone where they're going to get be wet, but I'm not so concerned. We're only going to do this uh, for this short project. Okay, so we just had our, our first mushroom delivered in. Our goal is to be able to have all nine tiles, uh, farm tiles, with uh, mushroom growing in it. Now, sometimes I wouldn't bother. I just uh, feed or, you know, put in a seed for so many and let uh, those seeds or let those plants produce more. But mushrooms take so long to uh, create other spores. So I'm going to keep digging out areas to hopefully find more. Alright, so I've noticed I've got uh, cleaned oxygen in this area, so I'm just going to put deodorizer there. But I think, yeah, we have. We've got all the uh, nine mushrooms. So the way this works is every mushroom is going to produce, or r rather we need 1.56 mushrooms for every duplicate. So nine mushrooms is almost going to be enough for six people when I get to that point. I'm going to say that uh, is a success. We've got some slime. We'll me maybe uh, need to add more slime to it as time goes on, but that's going to be a good start. I will see you over the uh, in the next episode. We'll we'll be uh, starting on the next project. See you then.